Okay, so now let's jump into the 3D software. You can use whatever software you like. Uh, the idea is, uh, it's a, it's a great tool to uh, to, to to have uh, the right perspective for architectural stuff, and also a, a good way to to render separate passes for the light and have already um, a good uh, level of detail for the textures. Okay, so now I'm just matching, matching the, um, the camera and the perspective with a simple plane. So I match the horizon line. And now I'm going to model some very simple shapes, very simple blocks, and match the, the volumes I have in my illustration. So just doing some boxes and uh, moving, moving them around so I can figure out the right position according to the illustration I did. Okay. So now we have kind of have the the right position for the the big uh, elements on the on the on the left. Okay. Just doing some adjustments. Okay. You need to do some some tweaks. Sometimes you, you you can cheat on the on the the position for the object because the the final picture will be just a, a, a still frame, so you don't have to bother a lot about the the real actual real position of the object. It's more uh, to have you know the the right elements and be able to to lead them and have uh, textures in them also. I'm just using cylinders for the the columns and pillars. So it's just to explain how it works to match the 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 camera the in the illustration. But after we can spend more time doing more you know detailed objects based on the the position of the low resolution models you had before. Okay, so you can see now I'm going to duplicate uh, the boxes and place them in the environment for the far distance towers. Just doing some very simple scaling, rotating. Okay, so I can match as much as I can the position of the different elements I have in the illustration. But I will be using uh, 3D just for the landmarks. I'm not going to, to model all the, the the mountains and all the stuff, all the trees. It's really more about uh, having uh, you know, the, the right perspective for the, the archi architectural stuff. Okay. So now we can get it how it works. So I'm not going to show you exactly how I am going to model all the details, but we're going to jump into the the, the more high resolution model. So you can see how it looks when I when I spend more time on that. So here we go. I'm going to display the high resolution model now. Okay. So as you can see, I have more um more work on the on the on the foreground like I, I detailed the the stair the staircase, uh also the base of the pillars, but I didn't spend m much time on the the background object. It's really I I have more subdivision on them, but I didn't model all the you know the the, the the windows, uh, all the doors. We really don't need to spend time on that. We use just textures, and the textures will be very, very helpful because they will give a very nice sense of scale, but also add some random. Detail.